how's everyone doing? I am Mobile Master Tech, and we are here at the um, Ocala Public, uh, the Mary County Public Library, um, East Ocala. And a uh, decent amount of traffic going on. It's gonna keep going up. It's almost three o'clock p.m. So lots of stuff going on. Let's see how the networks perform. We do know T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T and even DISH have all made their upgrades. Um, the tower, there's a tower behind me. Everyone has their respective mid-band 5G. It's also by the Veterans Park over there. Uh, AT&T's unfortunately isn't online yet. So I will likely come back to this spot and retest them. But from what I can see, as you can see, it's pretty good. <clears throat> So for AT&T, we have 75 for the ping. Nine millisecond jitter, 52.7 for the upload. So that's pretty good speed. And we'll do a second one. I want to change the server to uh, Gainesville because they're closer. It may actually improve the ping time. That actually happens. Okay, and speed test is going to fail, so let's try it again. It's picking Daytona again. I'm thinking the Gainesville server might be down, maybe? Let me try it one more time. Yeah, it's definitely down. Okay. So we'll use, we'll continue on with the Daytona server. Sorry about that. While that's going on, we will give Verizon a go. Uh, Ultra wideband is around. Although, it's not acting like it, right? And I'm gonna turn off dual SIM on this phone for a second and see if that makes a difference. So we'll go into the sim, turn it off. All right, so it's off, only one sim. See how it goes. Usually I don't have an issue, but let's check. Okay, so something's up with this one. Speeds are incredibly slow. And I almost think that the pixel may not be latching on to oh but it is. Look at that. And let's for good measure let's use a uh, net monster. Okay, yeah, it's seeing it. Bandwidth 10 mega, hold on now. Maybe it's not. Hmm. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna airplane mode it. Now it's stuck on, it went to LTE. Now it's on 5G. Now it's saying NR77. It could be something with the phone. So we'll just see about that. And uh, no, it's not. Something's up with the, the actual network, as you can see. Very interesting, right? Hmm. But the download ping time, the download, look at that, 19, that's incredible. So something's weird. The jitter's high. Uh, something's up with this tower. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna switch servers and see if for some reason, switching to the Miami server will uh, alleviate the issues. It's not. So it's definitely the tower, it's not the server. So very poor performance from Verizon, shocking the sea. Um, there's no way their market share in this 
on this side of town is that big. They don't, they had bad coverage for the longest time. And it's just now, you know, starting to fix itself. But anyways, 35 milliseconds for the ping and 14 for the, uh, download 29.7 for the upload six millisecond jitter um, it's not bad I guess it seems to be pretty good I'm sure it'll work just fine so next in line we have I have it we have boost mobile but it's running with the rainbow sim so it is using dish show you that in this in the section right here dish is on the very top of this tower right there 69 dbm you see it uh, n70 it's not really using n7 this is an error in the speed test app it's using uh the six the 600 megahertz spectrum right there 10 megahertz of that but it is aggregating with n70 so let's take a look dish wireless 39 millisecond ping Mind you, no one is really on their network. This Rainbow Sim, not many people have it. Most don't. So it's not a lot of people using their actual real network. And this is with 25 megahertz of uh, N70 and 10 megahertz of N71, but not bad. Uh, 157 down and 34.6 or the up, 39 millisecond ping. Uh, didn't show the jitter, I'll do another test to see. So far, AT&T and Dish seem to be pretty much neck and neck with Verizon in the distant third, which is shocking because, especially for AT&T, uh, that doesn't even have mid-band online yet. The equipment is up there, DOD and C-band is just is not online yet. So 38 millisecond ping, once again, don't show jitter. Uh, 100. 51 for the download and 34.9 for the upload and then yeah so that's they're pretty good pretty good speeds up uh, so i've done some voice tests with dish i've been quite impressed with their voice quality um went around didn't drop a call it's it's been good it's been good i've been impressed so last but not least we'll hit t-mobile over here on the fold on standalone Wow, so yeah, 14 millisecond ping, 951 for the download, and about 81, okay, 81.5 for the upload on standalone, and I can show you right now that it is, in fact, standalone, right here, you see N41, 100 megahertz, N25, piccolo. Shout out Dragon Ball Z. Uh, let's see real quick. Okay. Let's get it done. N41 100. Uh, N41 50. And N25 10. So with theirs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a phone call. Force it into non-standalone mode and run a non-standalone speed test to see the difference. Or still the same ping time. Okay, seeing eight. Okay, now we've hit the gigabit speeds. So, 1.14 gigs. No, 1.014 gigs, excuse me. And 122 for the upload. Four millisecond jitter, 14 ping. So, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Um, I want to see a Netflix test and we're going to start with Dish. I'm very interested to see uh, 
how fast a dish Netflix download would be. We're gonna do Murder Mystery 2. And we're gonna go to download. Dish doing very, very well for a whole movie. Oh, one hour, 30 minute movie in HD, sure. And it's done. So it's less than 30 seconds. I'd say about 20 seconds overall. Excellent. We'll go with T Mobile next. So let's go to Netflix. Let me log in really quick. Two. Okay, so we're here. We're gonna download it. Yep. Let's see what happens. Because from what I can see, I've been having uh, issues with Netflix on T-Mobile and Verizon. Now this is a free line for T-Mobile. So let me, hold on, I'm gonna stop the download, pause it, and I'm gonna turn on my VPN because that, uh, that throttle that they have goes away when you have a VPN. So I'm gonna cancel the download we're gonna redo it with a VPN online to see if that, yeah, that helped. That's what I thought. Okay, and it's done, instant. So, now we're gonna switch over to AT&T. Sorry. Um, Netflix, Netflix, Netflix. says pause at first. I think it's going to do good. Now this is non-throttled. There's 100% no throttling on this line. This is the, the AT&T Elite. And you can see it, you know, it's going. Dish definitely outdid it. It'll be interesting to see what happens when C-Band comes back. And while that's going, I'll uh, get Verizon started and see if maybe they can do a great job, even though the, for some reason the network seems to be very slow right now. Once again, there should be no download throttle on Verizon downloading <laughs> at and is doing good Verizon they're starting at least so as you can see the two smaller players at least in this case absolutely obliterated the competition and almost done. I mean, it took T-Mobile was an instant 
dish was like 20 seconds and AT&T was a few minutes and Verizon also appears it's going to be a few minutes so very inimpressive play for those two um, we'll stop it here though because it's probably going to take a long time but uh, I'm going to stop the video there for you guys for today if you like what you see on the channel don't forget to like, share, subscribe follow me on Twitter at Terrell352 and until the next video I'm out.